2023 has started with a bang, and if you need uh, some evidence of that, look no further than one of our best live event partners, CFFC, a regional promotion putting on a, a fight that might have all the makings of a, of a Las Vegas blockbuster. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me catch you up to speed. Please be joined now by Eddie Torres. Eddie, you and, and Richie Lewis made some uh, headlines a couple weeks back at uh, Fury Pro Grappling. Let's start at the beginning, because I feel like that's almost the, the end of the story. Where does the beef between you and Richie really begin? Yeah, so I never met this individual a day in my life. I was scheduled to fight uh, a different guy. Um, two days before my fight, some of my friends were like, hey, man, this guy tagged me on the post. I don't do the social media thing like that. Uh, one of the gym's managers at my gym does my social media. So I go and see, and he call, he's calling me and two other fighters out of our name. Like, he just starts saying some disrespectful stuff. The two other fighters go on there and argue with him back and forth on social media. I'm not going to do it. Eventually, I know I was going to cross paths with him, and we and him was going to have to talk. So I end up fighting. We, um, one of my teammates, Andre Petrosky, put up a picture of me, and this hoodlum is going to go in the picture and put rest in peace towards me. So then I saw him, I saw him, and the whole entire time he will not look at me. I was sitting behind him for behind him for like an hour. He will not look at me. So I approached him. Just me and him quietly. Nobody was there. I tapped him on the shoulder. I said, hey man, get up. Let's take this walk. You saying this is this on social media. Let's handle this like man. Let's go outside. Let's go in the bathroom. Let's handle this. The individual turns around and says, I'm just trying to get you paid. That's literally what he tells me. I'm like, how can you get me paid? Number one, he's delusional. Let, let's just get that out of the way. Number one, he has three fights. Never, ever been a main event. His last fight, he got paid $800 and $800, okay? He sold a total of 15 tickets. On the other hand, me, I have been the main event. How many fights? Three, the main event. Even when my bout was canceled due to COVID, I still sold out the arena. Right? right? There's a difference on value. And then he's trying to say he's trying to bring value to CFFC. CFFC been bringing value to fighters. Paul Felder, Sean Brady, Pat Seventini, Jeremiah Wells, uh, Joe Pfeiffer. CFFC don't need you. <laughs> Nobody needs you, kid. You need everybody. You, you, you have a bunch of fake followers with your bushy, ugly eyebrows and your receiving hairline and all these crazy things. Like, their eyebrows cannot be real. Like, you got to ask him this. But besides the point. So I see the individual, I, I'm telling him to get up. He's telling me he's trying to get me paid, that he wants to find me in the cage. I say, well, we can fight now and we can fight in the cage. Uh, he says that I say, I don't do the social media, right? Because I don't do the social media, right? I come from an era where you do respect somebody. When you see them, we're not going to be friends. He tried to shake my hand. I grabbed his hand. I stood him up. This is what the video don't show. I stood him up. Right, I was the one that's like, let's go outside. He said he was trying, he was going to get jumped by who? He had more people there than I did. Philly is his hometown. I'm from Allentown, PA, an hour and a half away. He likes to say that Philly's my hometown because his own people don't like him. This is why he's saying that he got booed out of his own city. The people from Rutgers reached out to me and they were like, look, f that guy. If you need our help, we'll train you. I never wrestled a day in my life. Well, well, you say, well, whole... let, let me pause you for a second. When you say the people from Rutgers, do you mean the wrestling team? The wrestling team from Rutgers. So his, his former out. wrestling team is reaching out to you? Yes. Not just that. There's other of his own teammates right now, Killer Cliff, are in my DMs telling me how this kid has no gas tank, how this kid got a glass jaw, and he just an arrogant little prick. I'm not saying that. His teammates are saying that. I don't know him. I don't know him from anywhere. I never met him. I never spoke to him until the altercation. So moving forward, we get to the altercation. Um, he went to push me, so I duffed him out. And then he started throwing gang signs up. I don't know what he was doing with his hands. He just like, he short circuit on me. That's what happened. He short circuit. He's never been punched in the face, I guess. Um, and look, to, to put it put it like this, I don't care where we at. If somebody punches me in my face, I don't care if I'm about to get jumped or don't get jumped. I'm fighting everybody. You got punched in your face and you froze. This tells me the kind of caliber of person you are. You're a coward. 
You sit there on social media and talk a whole bunch of crap. And then you see me face to face and you try and shake my hand. Like when does that became cool? You hey, know what I mean? So help me out, Eddie. Let's go back to the video at hand because obviously it shows you striking him in the face and yeah. he, he doesn't do much. What led to you actually making the decision to, to punch this man in the face? If you watch the video, he pushes me when people came around. I was already on his face for 10 minutes. If he wanted to push me, he could have pushed me when nobody was around. People came around, he pushes me, and I punch them. If you put your hands on me, I don't care who you are. If you put your hands on me, we are fighting. That is it, you know? And everybody says, sucker punch, it's a sucker punch. No, me and him were face to face. We're in a comeback scenario. Right. And then you try to push me, and you think I'm not going to do anything after you went on social media and talk a whole bunch of crap about me. And then what, what do you think what was going to happen? You think I was going to shake your hand and we was going to go and have an ice cream? Is that what he thought? He got the wrong one for that. That's what happened. You know, like, and look, and another thing, he's, he's telling you guys a bunch of false lies because that's all he does. He spreads a whole bunch of lies. Here's my contract for CFFC signed on the dotted line. Let me, let me zoom it in so hopefully the camera can see it. Eddie Torres signed his contract for CFFC. Where's so, Ricky Lewis' contract at? So, according to you, the, the bout is at least halfway agreed upon. You've signed your name. He has not signed his? I'm waiting. I mean, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. He's talking about a fight him in four weeks, three weeks, but it's got to be $12,000. It's got to be in AC. It's got to be with my uncles being the judges. Like, listen, put it like this. Tell Rob the first round, first five minutes, we just wrestle. Second round, I let him start on my back. And third round, we do MMA because we know he's striking his dog shit. So I'm not even going to say do a kickboxing round because we saw him striking, and that thing is horrible. And he has a glass chin. So well, he, we can he, do whatever he wants. He, he's out there still doing interviews, obviously, like you are. This is really all the buzz uh, so far uh, to start 2023. Uh, but he, he said today, Eddie said, last interview about this little squirt till we put pen to paper. Enjoy. And then thank you to at four ounces to Freedom Pod, uh, which is where he did the interview. So, I mean, I can see it right there. It does look like you've signed. So I guess the call out is to, to Richie. Contract. I, that's a CFFC contract. Look, look, promoter, CFFC. There's there the go. contract. I don't, I don't do the social media. I fight because I love it, not because I need money. He obviously needs some clout. He obviously picked me because he knows I sell out arenas. He knows that if he fights me, he makes a name for himself. He was a good wrestler. We give him that. But this is not wrestling. This is MMA, right? We, we are in a sport where if you talk crap to the wrong person, they're going to address it like I did. And I don't care if it was Richie. I don't care if it's any individual. You talk about me. When I see you, we're not shaking hands. Am I approaching? Am I ask you, what are we doing? You want to fight? What, what, what are we doing? Or not just don't do it. I don't do the social media. I don't. I never, ever... Win, lose, and draw, I have never, ever talked bad about any of my opponents. I've never been on social media calling people out. I've never done that. But if you are going to do it, you got to be man enough to stand on your own two feet and stand by your words. And he's not man enough. You know what I mean? That's, that's, he's trying to say he called out Sean Brady. He called out Andre Petrovsky, and they turned him down. Is he that delusional that you think Sean Brady was like, Richie Lewis, oh, hell no, but let me fight Bolaw? Like, what? Like, what are we talking about here? Like, this kid is delusional. He needs some professional help. Well, and, and I do, too. I got anger problems. I admit it. I have some anger problems, and this is what I fight, right? But he's delusional. This kid is from a different planet. Like, you got three fights fighting a, fighting a whole bunch of bums. You haven't fought anybody, and, and you want to get paid $12,000, and you get paid $30,000, and you're driving around the Hyundai. Your math doesn't add up. What, what, so, is, what is interesting to me, Eddie, is, is you basically saying that Rutgers Wrestling has reached out, that his teammates have reached yeah. out. I mean, that that's – there's some betrayal there. and uh, There's not betrayal. He betrayed his whole team. Right. This kid, right. if things don't go his way, he leaves the team and talks shit about his own team. That's what he does. That's why he's not in New Jersey training. Why do you think he's in Florida? He's from New Jersey. Why All right, so – what, what, what I think we need to do is we need to get to the bottom of this. And the only way that I can do that, uh, you know, obviously I've seen your uh, signed contract that you say is legit. He says that you haven't signed it. I mean, would you be opposed to coming on this show in the future 
with Richie oh, and, and figuring it out? We can come on the show with Richie and Rob Haydack, which is the owner of CFFC. Right. How about that? And the matchmaker. Let's come on the show, all of us, and let's see who's lying and who's not. Right? And that's the way we get to the bottom of it. Like, there, there's no... He, he just wants some clout, and I understand. He does it for the Instagram followers. You know what I mean? And then he's trying to take all the credit because we got a big buzz. Hey, if anybody's going to take credit, it's Philly Fresh. He did the video. You are nobody. You're famous for getting punched in the face. Like, what are we talking about? Nobody knew about this kid. Once I punched him in the face, now everybody knows him. It's ridiculous. Like, come on. This well, is some insane to me. I'm going to try to uh, do some investigative research here, get Richie back on the line with you. Maybe we'll get Rob Haydeck on and uh... – you know, we can figure out why this this hasn't happened yet and uh, when it's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm down to go whenever he's ready. I don't care. Either way, I'm fighting on March. So if you want to see a good fighter fight, somebody that's put a lot of work, somebody that deserves to fight at, at the biggest promotion, then tune in on March. I'm fighting him or I'm fighting anybody. I don't care who it is. You know, I just, it kind of bothers me that we're kind of stealing a little bit of the light like out of Gilbert Burns fighting Neil Magny. Like, all these great fighters are not getting a lot of coverage. And me and him, I consider us low-level fighters. It's not just him, he's a low-level fighter. I consider both of us low-level fighters. And we are taking the light and the spotlight from real fighters that have sacrificed a lot. I don't believe that, you know, you don't deserve anything you don't work hard for. And we're getting a lot of spotlight. And again, that's all to Philly Fresh. That all that spotlight is thanks to Philly Fresh. It's not because me and him. Right? Because if Philly Fresh would have never put us on his platform, we would have never got this clout. Right? But it makes me feel some type of way that these UFC fighters are not getting the clout that they deserve. And me and this nobody are getting a lot of clout over it. And, you know, it, it is what it is. He's, he's doing it for social media. He's getting the followers. You know, he, he's doing his thing. And he's talking about PR team and making money and doing this and doing that. We're going to get paid the same me and potatoes at the end of the day. Dana White or Chell Shelby is going to look at our social media things and go, oh, you see these two guys? Let, let's get them in the UFC. Let's let's do it in Vegas. Let's let's get them paid. No, you do respect me gets you nowhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. It just gets you punched in the face. Yeah, well, I guess he got somewhere because he got punched in the face and became famous. So I guess it worked out for him. So I guess his PR team told him, hey, man, let him punch you in the face. Well, uh, I can't wait to see the next time you guys may have uh, the opportunity to punch one another in the face. But uh, we got to get you Tell back on here. Me, we we, we got we to figure me, this out. We can go to his gym. We can fire his gym. He can send me the location. We go over there and have a little spar. All right. Well, whenever he's ready. The next location is going to be on Extra Rounds, I think, with you two. We'll get Rob Haydeck on, and then we'll figure out when uh, you two are going to meet in the CFFC cage. That sounds great to me, brother.